Some colleagues. We have with us Hajia Sadia Umar Farouk. The Honorable Federal Commissioner of National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, the Zamfara nominee. Honorable Commissioner, on behalf of my colleagues, I want to welcome you to the Senate Chambers and congratulate you on your nomination by Mr. President. This Senate is very gender sensitive. We always give support to our female senators and indeed 
any female, female stakeholder that we interact with. So you have the entire Senate behind you. We have your CV circulated to all of us, but you still have the opportunity to highlight anything in the CV that you feel very strongly about that will help this Senate in the screening exercise. And you can equally tell the Senate anything that may be outside the CV but is also significant and important in this exercise. Once again, you are welcome and you can address the Senate. Members of this very hallowed chamber, my very distinguished senators from my state, Senator Zahabiau, representing Zamfara North Federal Constituency, Senator Hassan Muhammad, representing Zamfara Central, and Senator Anka representing Zanfara West. My dear and distinguished sisters of the Senate, I'm really very privileged to be in your midst this evening. Mr. President, distinguished senators, let me start by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making this possible for all his blessings. And also, I must recognize and appreciate the presence of my dear mother here, who has groomed me to be a very responsible member of the society. I thank you very much, Ogo. I must also, Mr. President, distinguished senators, sincerely appreciate Mr. President, the President of this country, President Muhammad Buhari, for having this confidence in me by nominating me as one of the ministers of this great nation. I'm sure, Mr. President, has no doubt in his mind that I will not fail him, I will not fail this very distinguished chambers, and I will not fail the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the discharge of my responsibilities if given the opportunity. Mr. President, distinguished senators, I'm sure you have my CV with you, and looking at this very distinguished Chambers have seen very, very familiar faces of brothers and sisters that have worked together with, that have come a long way in our struggle to be where we are today. Uh, let me mention but a few. Senator Lanjuma Ogoje, who fondly called me for life. He called me for life because I was then the interim treasurer of the APC, and I was very uh, you know, uh, very serious with my work, and each time they come, they have to pamper me and say, you are for life, treasure for life, before I will actually, you know, do what they want me to do. So, distinguished senators, I am a party person. I'm a very devoted member of my party, and if given the opportunity, I will do my best to make sure that I contribute my own culture to the uh, development of this country as I have exhibited in my uh, previous um, um, assignment or my current assignment that I'm on. I've been given the responsibility to cater for the most vulnerable people of our society, people that have been displaced by one kind of disaster or the other, have traveled widely in this country, Press and length of this country, 
to look at these people, to support them, to protect them, to give them Saka. So, distinguished senators, this is all I can say. I can see that I'm already accepted in these chambers. And let me, let me, let me, let me say, let me say one more, one more thing, distinguished senators. My journey into politics actually started right here in this very distinguished house because I served in the National Assembly of the Fourth Assembly and my second office used to be up there. I always come to the gallery to listen to the senators, their debates, their deliberations, and that was where I got my interest to be a politician. So thank you very much. So this is my first constituency, Your Excellency Distinguished Senator. Distinguished colleagues, let me call the minority leader to speak on behalf of the Senate. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting as the chair. The nominee, having established her DNA in the National Assembly, can now take a bow and go. Senate Leader. Uh, Mr. President, sitting in the chair, my distinguished colleagues, I know the nominee you know, from our attestations, not in the National Assembly, but in the CPC, where we started before we graduated into the APC. She has been a very hard-working, like she said, dodged party party. I know when we started the journey, we had several brush in and out with her. And she is a lady in whose intellect I sincerely believe. And I am sure with the dangerous sensibility of this Senate and the way in which the Senate has taken this gender sensitivity very, very seriously, I will support the position of the minority leader that the nominee should bow and go. I so submit. Well, the same issue, Alex, uh, before I put the question. Let me uh, make uh, remarks. The, the nominee, of course, is currently serving as the Federal Commissioner of the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants, and Internally Displaced Persons. And, of course, we have been witnesses to what she has been doing with her current assignment. When we say the, the, the female nominees should take a bow and go, we are simply according them that privilege because all the female nominees that have come before the Senate so far have demonstrated clearly exceptional capacity, exceptional commitment, and I have no doubt that 
they will contribute very well and meaningfully to the development of this country as ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And you have great partners in the National Assembly to work with you. So we pray for you and of course that we are able to give you the kind of support that we need when you are a minister or whatever ministry you may be assigned to. But we are gender sensitive because this country cannot develop without the participation of our female stakeholders or the female gender generally. So with these brief remarks, I'll put the question. Those in favor of the motion that the nominee takes a bow and go, say aye. aye. Those again say nay, the eyes have it. You can now take a bow and go. Satiya Umar Farooq enjoys the take a bow and go privilege like uh, the other women before her, bringing the total number of uh, persons screened today in the Senate to 13.